Well, this morning, lawmakers are pushing back against offensive comments made by President Trump about immigrants from Haiti, El Salvador, <coughs> excuse me, and countries in Africa. Those comments took place during an Oval Office meeting about a possible immigration deal. One of the lawmakers in that room, Illinois Senator Dick Durbin. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli live in the near south side where Durbin will be at an interfaith breakfast later this morning. Hi, Mike. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Senator Durbin will be one of the honored guests here at this breakfast at the Marriott Marquis, which we expect to get underway here at around 8 o'clock this morning. This is a breakfast honoring the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Now, Senators Durbin and Lindsey Graham were speaking with the president at a bi about a bipartisan plan to protect young immigrants and beef up border security when the comments were made in the Oval Office. A source briefed on the meeting says that the president ripped on Africa, Haiti, and El Salvador, specifically saying, why are we having all these people from expletive whole countries come here? Instead, suggesting the U.S. take in more people from countries like Norway. Lawmakers from both sides of the political aisle were quick to condemn the president's words. The statements of the president are reprehensible, they're racist. We have in the White House someone who could lead the Ku Klux Klan. Now, the White House has not denied the comments. Instead, a spokesperson released a statement which said, in part, certain Washington politicians choose to fight for foreign countries, but President Trump will always fight for the American people, end quote. The Congressional Black Caucus, they didn't view it that way at all, tweeting further proof that his Make America Great Again agenda is really a Make America White Again agenda, end quote. Reporting live outside the Marriott Marquis, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Back to you, Aaron. Mike, thank you.